All right. What's next? Not a power bopper. Oh, sledgehammer. Coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity Aww. at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and be the guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to the Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just, he just stood in front of John Michael. Aww. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair. John Michaels had bad blood. The dream match, perhaps of all time. Before WrestleMania 24. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss up. It's either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who've wanted to be like Ric Flair. Four or five years later. We can think back to the last 20 years and some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it. The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too. 
as always. Jesus Christ. And there's the toss. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Ow. How dare you, Sean? How dare you? for control. From behind, Shawn Michaels going for it. Ric Flair, as we all know, is the master of the figure four leg lock. He likes to get you on the ground and work the legs. And when he decides to focus on the legs, Flair can dissect those legs like a surgeon. Oh, you said it, Cole. When Flair decides to work on your legs, you're pretty much history. You're pretty much toast. You know, we can talk all day about Flair's figure four leg lock, but he really can work the legs in a whole variety of ways if he wants to. And Shawn Michaels has seen Nature Boy's moves thousands of times has watched all of Flair's matches, so he knows what to look out for. He's got him up! Big body slam. Come on, what a dirty move. <coughs> oh my gosh! Wait, that's illegal. have squared off one-on-one. -on -one. And it's been building to this, King. Shawn Michaels and the Nature Boy were on opposite sides of a six-man tag team match at Backlash just a few months ago. And since then, things have gotten very ugly between them. Well, maybe things have gotten ugly between Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels since Backlash. But it was only the Nature Boy doing what he needed to do. You mean that's it. He's done. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of a match, like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything <coughs> he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Well, in the events leading up to this match, Shawn Michaels brought tears to Nature Boy's eyes by telling him how he idolized Ric Flair, nearly worshipped Ric Flair. But King Shawn eventually got stabbed in the back by Ric Flair. Wait a minute, as for Michaels being stabbed in the back, that was just typical Nature Boy. If Shawn Michaels really idolized Flair like he said he did, he should have expected it. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels, and ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Oh, Flair in the I corner knew it. now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee. Oh, look, oh, look at that. that. Blake low blow. And I think, I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. Woo. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo. Great counter. Beautiful counter by Flair. Only the Nature Boy could execute a reversal with such style. Woo! Check that. Oh, look at this. Here we Rick go. Flair with the figure four, but no! Shot right into the official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. Oh. And he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy. And he connects. What the that. heck? Randy Orton. With a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this, he's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding? Coming the referee. His, his buddy Flair. And there's the three count. I can't believe this, Cole. No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is... He's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. The youngest world champion in history. Ric 
Flair can barely stand, but Shawn Michaels is out. <laughs> or pay dividends. The facial looks weird on the younger Randy Orton, so.